Under this head cover, I have the most in-demand driver of 2024. And for me, it's a bit of a big of a surprise. It's the Ping G430 10K driver. So very interesting here that Ping seem to do it every single year. They start to bring a driver out and it seems to be one of the most in-demand. And we know, obviously, the big thing there you'll have seen on there is turbulators. A lot of people always talk about the looks of a Ping driver. You have to like the looks of it. But this year, obviously, they've gone for a driver that is more forgiving it seems to be forgiveness is the way that everybody's going they're not always going for more and more distance now the claims of obviously 20 yards 30 yards longer don't seem to be around they start to be saying that you are getting more forgiveness off centered hits which unfortunately we all have are now going to be longer they are going to be longer because it's going to maintain ball speed and very interesting that obviously ping is the most in-demand driver because there's one massive point about the ping driver that for me stands out and it was a big surprise to me, it was a big surprise to most people. Again, a pretty low ball flight there, but again, not a great strike. You can see that by the strike right there on the face. It was extremely low, but I've got forgiveness. It felt solid off there. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel hard on my hands. It didn't feel like, oh, that's going to lose you a lot of distance. And it'll be interesting to see where that is down there. But the big talking point for me with this driver is the price. This is the most expensive, or one of the most expensive. This and the PXG are right up there with being the most expensive on the market. So for it to be the most in demand, and where I'm getting that from is my Golf Spy. So my Golf Spy obviously are saying that this was the one that everybody wanted to see. Everyone wanted to see this tested. Everyone wants to see this comparison. And James does actually have the other most expensive driver in his bag today. And it has been playing well with it. Obviously, he has been getting the performance when he gets the head cover off. He has been getting fantastic performance with it. And for him, the numbers really stacked up. And this is where, is it worth the money? Obviously, it's all down to that performance. Are you getting the ball fights? Are you getting the distance? Are you getting the consistency that you want to see from this driver? And we're going to jump in the studio shortly and put that to the test. And that's the ball flight right there. No movement at all on it, a nice penetrating ball flight and just felt solid. Sound wise for me, obviously they did make massive improvements in the G430 range in general from the 425 range. That sounded a lot better. And for me there, that was a little bit toey, but no movement whatsoever. So again, are they getting that little bit more straight flight technology in there? Are they trying to stop a little bit of curvature? This is what the forgiveness side is going down. So forgiveness is the main thing. Is it going to be forgiveness for the next few years instead of distance? Because we know, obviously, there's going to be changes to the ball. Is it now all about forgiveness all over the face? And that one a little bit toey turning over just down the left-hand side there. Hopefully should miss the pond because that is one of James's brand new golf balls. But that is again a toe strike. So it'll be very interesting to see where that's gone. Front to back dispersion is the main thing for me. But the big thing with these drivers is that some of the longest hitters have gone for this. And this is a max driver. Obviously we have got those changes with that carbon crown on there to get the weight a little bit more spread across the face. So even your longest and your best players are using a bigger size head. Obviously a more forgiving head. So why haven't you? looked at this club so guys james is panning off the water because it's a, his panic is over so we have got the third drive here so the one that i hit a little bit toe it did dip down there but look at those two missed strikes so one extremely off the toe one extremely off the bottom but maybe only 15 yards down so from a bad strike i don't think that's too bad at all i don't think losing 15 yards from where i hit that ball on the club face is too bad and that's exactly what this driver is going to do this is why you are paying a premium for this get that in there before it's lost on the 18th so guys we were going to test those numbers inside but we finally got some good weather so we are using the golf zone wave out here to start to see obviously what we're getting from this drive obviously we know the forgiveness has come from it now having that carbon weave on the top so they've been able to distribute that weight a little bit better to get the forgiveness we've also got that weight at the back so again waiting at the back to help get as much forgiveness as possible and that's also in the center to help try and straighten 
separating out the flights. Obviously, a lot of technology in this. The big changes from the standard, obviously, G430 Max is that carbon crown. So that's the way that they've been able to get a little bit more forgiveness. But obviously, a lot of good players are using this. This is not just straight away because it's that bigger head. It's not straight away for the higher handicappers. And this is where, obviously, it will be probably one of the most popular of the year, even though it is the most expensive. So. Again, we know the looks behind it, what we start to expect. Let's go. So straight away there, a good strike. The best one I've hit so far, so that's straight up the middle of the fairway. And we'll look at the numbers after, guys. I'm going to hit these three shots because this is a hole that I've really struggled with. And again, you can see by the flyover there, it does look like it's the widest fairway, but I somehow always end up towards those bunkers on the right. And again, straight uphill, normally plays into the wind. Is there a hole at your golf course where you normally stand there and you're not so sure? For me, with the obviously bigger head design behind there, I do start to have that confidence that I can trust it and I can really go after it. That's an interesting one. So that'll be interesting to see there on the numbers. Obviously, that is a little bit healy and a little bit low. That has leaked ever so slightly out to the right, but didn't spin up as what I would expect. If that was the, just the standard Max driver, I'd expect to lose quite a lot of distance there. And this is where, for me, spin's always been an issue. And this is where we're now getting the confidence from the head size, but also now we should start to control that spin, which is essential for me. And another good strike, just fading off that left-hand side. So two in the fairway, guys. One little bit spinny, but let's have a look at those numbers. So you can see the numbers now on screen, guys, and the first shot exactly where we wanted it to be, around about an 1,800 spin. Carry-wise, 270 yards, running out to 285 again. Uphill, it's not the warmest as of yet, as we know, because it's rained for the last six months. So a pretty good shot. Exactly what I'm expecting from that club edge speed at 113 miles an hour. Second one, same club edge speed or just underneath and spin 2,600. So very interesting there straight away that it's not crept up into the 3,000s, it's not into the 4,000s, which I have seen with previous drivers. So straight away there for me, and it's gone 265 yards carry. So I've lost five yards, which I wouldn't say is too bad. It's still run out to 280. So again, overall, we're still getting ball speed and it didn't have much curvature. The third and final one, again, a little bit quicker there. We got that up to 115 miles an hour. Spin rate again, 1,800, but that little bit more speed. I have got a, a just under 280 yards carry and running out closer to 90. So for me, in these conditions, pretty good strikes there. I'd be happy with that. And for me, straight away, this driver, yes for the price, is doing exactly what I want it to. Even an off-centered hit is still performing well, so it's a driver that we should be considering depending on your budget. So interesting numbers there. Right, obviously, exactly what you're paying for. So forgiveness-wise, the off-centered hits did perform much better. You can see why a lot of tour professionals and longest hitters are using this club. Because if you are a little bit off-centered, which unfortunately we all are, this is certainly keeping a little bit more ball speed. When you go for a fitting, obviously it's all about performance. And if you know, or you, you need to admit that we do, you don't hit it in the center of the face all the time, then this is certainly something you need to look at. Obviously price-wise, yes, we know it's right up there, 550 pounds, maybe even a little bit more in some places, but obviously it is doing exactly as it says on the tin. The sound is better, the look, for me, I'm used to the look of the ping driver, so I don't mind it at all. At the end of the day, I'm not bothered about that if it performs well. And again there, not a centered strike, but that's right up there, close to the green, guys. And that's why this is the most in-demand driver. Everybody wants to see this. Everybody wants to see how this is performing against the other drivers. And the price for me is right because it is potentially the best driver on the market. It's something certainly that I will look at putting into my bag because I'm certainly not finding the middle of the club face today.